So what's going on toxic gamers uh, we got the usual suspects and what a masterpiece of a thumbnail this is man youtubers going crazy gamers going crazy right now they calling gamers toxic problematic we have the Galo situation the Tomb Raider uh, Abby the Brock Lesnar situ situation from the last of us 2 this is actually a real character design guys <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna get into it. This is crazy. Unknown 9. Also, always salute to Captain BBC! Always gotta salute to the homie Captain BBC, okay? Like the video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. Gotta give everybody equal chances, okay, guys? I'm not a savage, okay? Shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster. Check this out. Roll it. Can you smell that? That is smell the what? stench of Unknown 9 Awakening, which is set to release tomorrow and absolutely pollute the gaming industry with its putrid smell. <laughs> Sweet Baby Ink helped make this game, but Bandai... What, what movie is that from? What movie is this from? Yeah, this Sweet is Baby us. Ink helped make this game, but Bandai Namco does not want you to know this. According to Grums on Twitter, Bandai Namco banned anyone who even mentioned Sweet Baby in their live stream talking about the game yesterday. People are telling me they've gotten banned on the community forums on Steam for talking about this. Gamers can tell from a mile away that this thing is a stinky calamity and yeah. nobody is pre-ordering it. What is that smell? It was me! Unknown 9 has finally cracked the top 1,000 bestsellers on Steam. In fact, it did jump up to number 494 right before oh, its launch. Which that's progress. That's that is progress, guys. That yeah, that is progress. Damn. Will this game beat beat Concord and Dustmore though? I yeah. What what you guys thinking right on that one? Do you think it, one in the comments if you think it can beat Concord and Dustmore? Two in the chat if you think it's not gonna be able to beat it. Could? Which is still pacing well oh, no, no, behind Concord and right around where Dustborn was when. When it launched, it has gotten so bad that Bandai Namco is reportedly canceling a bunch of their other games and trying to push employees out of the company. This there is not something go. that a there company does if they are happy with how things are going. There Bandai we go. Like wh this happens so many times, man. These things always like let Sweet Baby Inc. infiltrate their game, and ultimately, what happens? Their fans are not happy with the game, right? Fans are not buying the game. Low pre-orders, low sales, and then these things fired their devs. These things fired their deaths and in some cases the studio gets nuked in other cases you know we're seeing ubisoft employees going on a strike though they're going on a strike because you know people are not uh salute to captain bbc because of what they done to the homie yasuke right and they're being actively openly being racist towards like uh, black people asian people using lgbt people as shields right this like is crazy we all saw what happened and bro, sweet, I, I'm convinced right now, man. Sweet Baby Inc. do not create jobs. They make suckers lose their job, essentially, okay? That's what's going on right now, man. Die wants to flush its turds, but it's too late. Gamers have already smelled what they have been brewing. I hope you're not using the toilet, it's broken. Huh? The toilet doesn't flush. Here, the homie's gonna dance, okay? <laughs> You is apparently it, man. doing it. so poorly that Bandai won. But anyhow, Unknown 9 Awakening is apparently doing so poorly that Bandai is apparently trying to clean house. I don't blame okay. them, considering how expensive Unknown 9 must have been to make. How much? They were planning TV shows and all kinds of other shit for this franchise, so I imagine they spared no expense when making this game. But it just doesn't look like anything more than a bad version of Forspoken, which... They were making... TV shows? They were trying to make a TV show on it. Man, Concord, four hundred million dollars disaster. Hundred and fifty thousand euros were taken from the taxpayer money in Norway to create that Dustborn game, and both of those games bombed. <laughs> and these seconds were like, okay, let's do that. And now they're firing devs, bro. Instead of creating jobs, Sweet Baby Inc. is like, okay, let, let, let's just come in, let's destroy your product, and then ultimately you're gonna get fired by your employers or by your, like, higher-ups. Which is saying a lot. Word Crazy. is coming out. Crazy. The Bandai is so upset, they are canceling games and getting rid of employees, but the way they're attempting to remove these employees sounds like they don't want to have to pay severance or anything like that. Of they course. want these employees of to course. quit. This doesn't sound- Because Sweet Baby Inc. took their guidance fee. You didn't know that? Yes, yeah, Sweet Baby Inc. charges money, guys. Damn, right? That's probably like- I, I know some of you guys are probably looking like this right now. Damn, I didn't know that. Damn, you didn't- Bro, yeah, bro, that is true. Sweet Baby Inc. charges money to ruin games. 
<laughs> these things are like hey we need to charge guidance it's guidance fees that's what they call it guidance guidance get mama with that guidance bruh sound like the actions of a company that is doing very well. They just released Dragon Ball Sparking Zero a week ago, and that week has ago, been selling quite ago. well. So it's week fair ago, to wonder how ago. bad things would be for Bandai if they hadn't had that sudden influx of cash. But let's read some of this article here okay. from Video Game Chronicle to get an idea as to what's happening at the company. It says, Bandai Namco is reportedly reducing its workforce and has canceled several titles, including games featuring the One Piece and Naruto licenses, as well as a contract project with Nintendo. According to Bloomberg, citing sources familiar with the matter, the company is taking a traditionally Japanese approach to reducing staff and sending workers to rooms where they are given nothing to do, putting Dang. pressure on them to leave voluntarily. And that Bruh. is freaking harsh, man. Bruh. Absolutely degrading. Though I gotta yeah. tell you, I'm the sort of stubborn a-hole who would sit down in that empty room, kick my feet back, and take a little nap every single day. I'd absolutely make them fire me, especially considering that the failure- I, I, I hear you, brother, but like, you gotta understand that these devs, uh, they need to get paid though I, I mean rightfully so though rightfully so uh if you're just a passionate dev that got nothing to do with this crap that sweet baby ink is forcing down uh everybody's throat right now if you if you're just like a yeah right like a working employee right like damn you know yeah so you you have literally no say or maybe you do maybe you don't but even if you have a say you cannot change and it's not your job to change i get that I, you can voice your opinion and i'm and i don't know if like dev's gonna voice their opinion i guess like most of them are not gonna voice their opinion in b because like they're probably like hey if we voice our opinion we're probably gonna get fired and i get that but bro i understand that they're just there to make games something that they're passionate about they're just there to work on a game on a project get paid put food on the table yeah simple as that right simple as that the 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 orders come from the higher ups and right now it seems like that the orders don't even come from the higher ups it seems like that the orders are coming directly from sweet baby ink so they are like hey we're gonna guide you we're looking to guide you pay us the money we're gonna give you guidance they give their guidance the games that they worked on for years and years bro like years and years they spend millions and millions of dollars on it ultimately flops and then what do these seconds do fire their devs or shut down like we have seen several companies being shut down after being get after getting that sweet baby kiss of death right it's just crazy this is different kind of stupid man this is different kind of stupid what they're experiencing right now with unknown nine awakening is something that bandai themselves chose to do a random game dev working at the company isn't responsible for bringing in sweet baby to make yeah, a game yeah, yeah. bandai yeah. did that but the article goes on it says bandai namco studios has reportedly moved 200 workers to such rooms leading to almost 100 resignations Whoa. a representative Whoa. of bandai namco told bloomberg there you go sweet baby ink just uh, got 100 people fired man like and i got another 100 moved into like another room of work or some crap like that damn man. our decisions to discontinue games are based on comprehensive assessments of the situation some employees may need to wait a certain amount of time before they are assigned their next project there we go yeah, hey, whoa, whoa. Naturally, your biggest ally is a stunning and brave Slay Queen POC, while the antagonist, of course, is a white chud. Do you enjoy the mockery of evil white men in modern video games? Literally, the owner of Sweet Baby Inc. wrote the story. They could have at least tried to hide it better. The new Bandai Namco game, I know 9, Awakening showcase its characters. So this is the characters. Your biggest ally is stunning and brave. Slay queen, strong, independent, no need, no man. Men are always toxic and manipulating, toxic masculinity, and also toxic gamers, if I didn't mention that first. Literally, the owner of Sweet Baby Inc. wrote the story. They could have at least tried to hide it better. It's way too obvious. I feel like that they're just uh, inserting themselves in the game. That's what it is. It's way too obvious, LMAO. Bandai and their executives who signed on to make this game in the first place are the ones responsible for what's going on. This isn't one of those situations where a company took a game that might have been promising and hired a consultancy who then yeah. proceeded to ruin the game. No, no, no. Puppy. Sweet Baby was always baked into the franchise, and I'm getting Concord vibes from all of this. They were planning on a TV show, a novel trilogy, it was already a comic book, there was talk of a movie for this thing. This was supposed to be huge. That's why they brought on... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! These things were planning a movie? These things were planning a movie, though? What? What? This thing is crazy though. Where's the homie spiritual so at though? Yeah, this is why you got zero friends and you don't fit in though. This is exactly why though. You know, the homie spiritual uh, spiritual soul 
preaches a preach that years ago and he correct he's he remained he remained Yo, correct go. salute to the homie spiritual soul man on that chick from the witcher the netflix witcher show they brought her on because they thought this was going to be huge they thought they needed a famous face to be the face of the franchise this was supposed to be the future of the company in the same way the concord was supposed to be the future of sony but now it is failing and i can't guys shout out to the homie rep says they should check this one out you're not gonna believe it so they are uh, they are putting surgery scars in their game oh, shit. Oh, shit. for there's a reason for it i guess some of you already some of you already some of some of you already know some of you are gonna find out roll it me once again talking about dragon age veilguard this game is less than two weeks away from release and now we have some of the data regarding its pre-order sales and spoiler alert they are quite atrocious uh, and complicating things no. even further as we'll see in this video is a series it seems like that gamers already got uh, always have a game to look forward to so yeah we had the captain bbc situation right that situation went crazy then it died down and still and right after that it went crazy again and now it's like you know people are not talking about the the captain bbc but salute to captain bbc as always you know we had the laura croft situation i know nine just happened right the game is coming out by the time you're watching it already came out right sickers are playing it sickers are not enjoying it Bruh. and sickers that are uh, and a lot of sickers are not buying it okay so there's that and now we got another game to look forward to guys yeah dragon age another one right two weeks Damn, man, another Concord situation uh, happening in the video game sphere. Crazy. ...of rants by some of the Dragon Age writers, both former and present writers for Dragon Age, who had what's essentially a projection-fueled communal therapy session on Blue Sky, where right. they were complaining about gamers who won't accept the fact that Dragon Age is woke. Now, why are a lot of people calling Dragon Age woke? Well, it's from a series of criticisms, mostly having to do with the character creation process in this game. A lot of people, number one, go. are not buying... Oh, man. Like, these things is crazy. The correct... The character creator in Dragon Age, the wheel guard, is amazing. Of course, IGN! Of course it is! Of course it is, man! Of, of course it is, bro. These... Uh, man. IGN... Okay, I, I'm... I want to know their rating. Is it is it going to be 7 out of 10? Is it going to be 10 out of 10? 8 out of 10? Or is it going to be 5 out of 10? Because if they give a game 5 out of 10, that means it's garbage. If they give a game 7 out of 10, still means it's garbage. Bruh. Okay? If they give a game 8 out of 10, you guessed it. Still garbage. It's still garbage. IGN rating means nothing now the fact that they claim these are incredible designs a lot of people incredible. think they're quite bad on top of that you can have non-binary pronouns and also add top surgery scars to your character and a lot of people are just looking at the direction of dragon age over the years and they're asking what happened to this franchise they well know. we have some answers coming from david guider here who is a former writer for dragon age they say no dragon age has not become woke it was always woke so they made this blue sky post about a month ago saying this Apparently, the usual suspects are upset at how woke the new Dragon Age is, an apparently sudden and unexpected development in the series, effing Taurus. Now, I don't know Bruh, about what? that one, Davey. Calling potential customers Taurus because they dare to criticize your game is not an amazing strategy, nor is saying that your game is... You're calling gamers Taurus. Bruh. I mean, bruh. Woke, and it's always been a woke franchise. Like, this is 2024. You don't want to be calling your games woke. David Gator. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. But in Urdu, I would like uh, in Urdu, I would like to say, "Yar, lantio, lanata, pa pancho, lanata, panchungli wali, lanata, re kutte deo bache ho." Tanu sharmani andi, o tanu sharmani andi, kha kha ke, kha kha ke, phalte jaro, phalte jaro, tun tun ne, tun tun ne, lanata de pandi. We see how that's worked out for other companies and it ends really badly. But this isn't the only thing David's been saying on Blue Sky. A lot of people in the Blue gaming Sky. industry are shifting over to Blue Sky. It's like a, you know, a Twitter alternative for them. And it's kind of an echo chamber. It's very liberal. And a lot of people in the gaming industry are finding their home here. And so has David. And he's been making a lot of various posts there. You can see Mark Kern captured some of these. Uh, this is the one that's getting a lot of attention from two days ago. David, this former Dragon Age writer, would say this in quotes. The females aren't hot enough, end quote. Yet because they've clued into the notion this is obviously incel behavior, they've oh, swapped out unattractive for masculine and thus transgender because that's a framing which makes them seem political instead of porn brand. Ah, hey, whoa, whoa, tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. Chill quick, brother, chill quick. Tranquilo, papi. But we all know what they mean. 
I actually don't have any idea what you're talking about. This is a, a bunch of nonsense. But basically what this person is doing is a lot of projection. We'll see a lot of projection throughout these various posts. And they start by saying, everyone who's doing this is an incel, right? The ah! Classic, everyone who disagrees with me is an incel. Ah! Like... I don't know, man. Like, I'm a happily married man, and I don't like the designs. It's really that simple. Like, you're allowed to say a design doesn't look good, and all of this coping in the replies here, it's they're trying to make this something bigger than it is. People just don't like the designs and also all Facts. the other woke aspects Facts. of this game. Facts. They're completely ridiculous, and it only appeals to people in the gaming industry who are incredibly woke, and they want to put this stuff into their games for whatever agenda they're trying to push. But anyways, the conversation continues on with this user saying, it's ridiculous because every female character in Dragon Age is gorgeous, except for Sister Patrice. They're Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Every, every character. Where, where is this? Where is like... Every. Every. <laughs> Yo, where is that? I'm trying to find it, man. Yeah, okay. Every character. Every. So maybe this is the Patrice. Maybe this is a Patrice character. I don't know, man. Damn, this sick is crazy, bro. This sick is crazy. I guess sick is gonna be sick is, man. They're just mad they aren't whites, which is a very interesting thing. I haven't seen anyone complaining about whatever they were. There, yeah, bro, like, what, what the hell? Like, they always do that to my black homies. They do that to my white homies. They, to them, white people, white people don't even exist to them, bro. This thing is crazy right now, man. Damn. As a brown man, I'm sick and tired of everybody playing the race card, guys. I'm sick and tired of it, man. L let me know, like, if you're a brown man, white man, black man watching. I want to know, man. Are you sick and tired of them playing a the race card? I am too, man. Like, uh, as a... As a bro, man, I am. I am sick and tired, bro. I'm sick and tired. Referring to here, but anyways, David would respond saying, when your idea of beauty is framed solely by porn you watch... Ah, and the ah, whoa, 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 whoa. Anime you prefer, then no, they aren't. Not to them, and they very likely pine for the days when every female character existed to be beautiful and wonder what could have changed. The world changed, dude. And then that user responds by saying, this is why on projects, I've always encouraged teams to just go for it when it comes to representation. The worst people in the world are going to complain just as hard if you have a single person of color or a whole diverse cast, so you might as well do it right. I don't know who this person is, but this idea that a game is made right if it has a certain society if games were not woke you know what i'm saying this would be society you know society if, if, listen man the only game i i don't even want to say the name brad because i feel like that they're about to copy ideas right now i'm like gonna feed them ideas but yeah, i'm joking around i just hope that gta 6 yeah that's the game man i just hope gta 6 is good man that's the only game that i want <laughs> that's the only game that i'm truly looking forward to feel what i'm saying the, uh, to a certain degree it's probably gonna be woke because real in real life you got the woke stuff right so gta is always the parody of real life i get that to a certain degree it's probably gonna be to say that it's not gonna be that's ludicrous right even as a fan i'm looking forward to that game right even I know it's going to be to a certain degree. But is it going to push agendas? If it's... That's the only thing, right? That fans are like, hey, man, hopefully it's not going to be pushing agendas. Hopefully they're going to make a game for the gamers. Hopefully they're going to make a good game. Simple as that. Nothing complicated, though. You know, we want GTA 6 being the... Being a better version than the last GTA games, right? We want GTA 6 to be equally crazy as GTA 5 was when it came out after GTA 4. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We want that leap from GTA 4 to GTA 5. Crazy leap. We want to see GTA 5 to GTA 6 too. And based off of the trailer, seems like that there's going to be a crazy leap. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, man. We don't want these suckers uh, destroying that too, right? Like that. Yeah, man, like the video if you agree. Like the video if you agree. And real quick, I always forget this, guys. If you if you are into conspiracies and all that, definitely check out the second channel. This is where we cover conspiracies, UFO content every single day. Especially at, at, at night time content like that starts to hit different though if you have an instagram i would love to have you there too link is always in the pinned comment i right, let's get back to the content here boo boo number of diverse characters in it that is a pretty concerning and odd thing for them to say but yeah, anyways yeah. back to what david's saying it's a whole yeah, lot yeah. of projection right again yeah. it, they're talking about the porn people watching and, and anime causing issues like they have a big issue with anime but what they're saying right here trying to make all of these critics look like a bunch of deviants is projection because this is the kind of stuff that goes on at bioware right you can see this headline a very real one Baldur's gate three sex yeah, 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 yeah. I don't say that word. I was trying to avoid that P word as well, but because you're on YouTube, man. <laughs> yeah, 
Hey, hey, whoa, whoa. Noise specialist leads Dragon Age the Veil Guard cast, and Bioware has revealed the voice cast for Dragon Age the Veil Guard, which will feature four voice options for the protagonist. So yeah, definitely once again projection, but the conversation continues on where he uh, recalls a, an event from 10 years ago where another member of the Dragon Age narrative team, this trick person, would come with this reply saying, which came after them complaining that none of the women in Dragon Age 2 were up to their standards either, where another user says Bumble Nero and Isabella brothers. weren't up to their standards. I damn near had an existential crisis choosing between the two. I mean, what... What the hell did they want? A bit gobsmacked hearing this. And then David responds saying, Meryl had small boobs. I don't know why they say it like that. And thus, too boyish. When the dude finally posted examples of what he thought a re real female should look like, they were all wifeish, winsome anime girls, unsurprising, honestly. Bruh, if we just want females being females, bruh. We, we, like, basically what people are trying to say here is that, bro, like... Uh, don't do this bro like don't stop uglifying the female characters dog like damn bro that's that's what people saying man that's what people talking about bro it ain't it ain't that complicated bro like make females females again simple as that bro like the video if you agree guys dislike if you disagree and whatever you do do not watch this video don't watch this video insane stuff just just went down guys <laughs> don't watch this video man check out the video on the left man check out the video on the left crazy clips in there too and i'll see you there